What's up everybody, Dean Ellis from Dartech again and we're on to the last menu item out of the core Joomla uh, list um, and that is the wrapper. Now the wrapper, all the wrapper is, there's only one link in it and that is the iframe. Now if you don't know what an iframe is, basically what it is, is it a, it's almost like a window, well it is, it's, it's a window into another website. So basically you can actually just, uh, explore and browse the uh, website from within your own website. Um, pretty handy for some for some instances and some uses. I wouldn't use it to browse the internet with, but uh, you can use it for for certain functions. Uh, and all it is is uh, the iframe wrapper. I've made one here. The very next uh, field you place into the uh, uh, menu item is the URL of the the website you want to browse and have a look at. Uh, and it's interesting actually because uh, I'll show you a few things on this when I go into the front end with relation to my artist here template which is kind of interesting. Um, there's the link to the page itself. Target window is in the parent window which is the one we're in. We're using the de default template style, put it in all general menus and it's in the menu item route because this doesn't have its own parent menu. Leave the ordering and that side leave all that, that pretty much basically the same. Okay, just a few other little bits and pieces across here. Now scroll bars and parameters, we can actually set the width and height of the uh, the iframe. Um, at the moment, uh, I'll go to the front end and refresh it. Okay, so there's the uh, there's the iframe there with the border, and you can see my Dartec website such as it is in the frame. Now the interesting thing I I, uh, I mentioned before is that in my website, the menu is actually listed across the top, but because this artist here template is a responsive template. Uh, and it's identifying that it's on a smaller scale, it's actually using the template for a tablet. All right, so when you click on the, uh, the button there, you see the menus appear. So that's, it's very interesting that you can actually rescale the, uh, your website, you rescale your, um, your iframe, and you can use an iframe to actually see how uh, your responsive websites will look on a tablet or a, a mobile phone device. Um, so that's very interesting. I might just uh, explore that a little bit more and have a play with that because uh, um, it's good for good for testing and things. So I might have a play with that one. So that's it. That's how it works in there. Um, nothing majorly big about it. We can we can reset the uh, the size of it. I'll bring it down to 300 and just refresh the page. There it is. There. See, it comes down to 300, and you look at your um, your website again. Okay, notice it's responsive, it's actually resized everything. The background image is a background image, you're not going to resize that, um, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's really interesting. Okay, height is basically uh, how tall your, your site is, you can make it longer or taller. Advanced settings, um, auto height, you can set it auto height if you want to. Um, auto add, alright, that's the uh, HTTP prefix on your URL, so it'll auto add that if you want it to, which is what we have done. So if you look at our um, details, I've only put www there. If you turn that one off, you've got to put the HTTP in front of your, your field here. Okay, frame border, all right, you can see a, a white border around there. If we say no, that'll disappear. Okay, link type, page display, metadata, and module assignment, they're all the standard uh, tabs in all menus that you see. Okay, I'm not going to go through those again. About the browser page title, notice the uh, up the top here, you see the word wrapper, that's your wrapper title here. We can sit there and place anything in there if we want. Refresh the page again, and there's Bob. Okay, so that's that's where it goes up there. Um, okay, page show page heading, page heading is uh, basically it sits in the, um, inside the website if you want to show it. I don't, I tend not to show the page headings, they get becoming a little bit confusing. Okay, metadata and module assignment, that's all the, all the same sort of stuff. Okay, so that's how the uh, the wrapper works, and that is the end of the basic menus playlist. If you have any questions regarding uh, this playlist or things in this playlist, or you'd like to um, ask some questions about it or, or learn or you know, request a tutorial on how to do something, just um, write a comment in the comments field, and I'll be happy to uh, have a look at it and either answer your questions from the comments or write up another tutorial for you. I hope you got something out of this uh, tutorial. Uh, and this uh, and this playlist. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, that'd be really appreciated. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next playlist and tutorial. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.